everyone, it's Dina Manzo, and I'm coming here tonight with my makeup artist extraordinaire, Laura. Hello. Laura, where can we find you on Instagram? The Laura Kosky. The Laura Kosky. She's got some great makeup tips on her Instagram as well as updates on her cosmetic line doll, which we'll be talking about more tonight. Anyway, I asked you guys what you want to know more about on my social media, and we're going to answer all your questions tonight. So I'm here with this lovely hairdo, as you can see. Um, I just pampered myself with some prep for different makeup looks that you asked for. So we're gonna start off with um, the no makeup makeup look, which is kind of what I'm rocking these days. The older you get, the less makeup you wanna wear. And you know what, every day you don't wanna walk around like you're painted, it's at least I don't. But I think what's going on on camera, on, on the digital, the social media right now, is very theatrical. Yes. And let's face it, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but at the end of the day, you want to make out. And like, if you have that <laughs> painted face, he's going to be like, oh my God, this was a different girl than I saw five minutes ago before we were making out. Because all that caked on contour, it's great if you're in front of the camera, but every day, let's go there tonight. Mm -hmm. So of course I start off with, I don't know if you guys know, but I had launched my um, Glow by Dina, a little pre-launch for Valentine's Day, and we were doing official launch on Mother's Day, but it is available on glowbydina.com. It is formulated by dermatologists, tested by dermatologists, fragrance free, so it's not gonna aggravate your skin, which is the number one complaint dermatologists get when clients go to the dermatologist and they're irritated. I learned that most of the time it's from the fragrance and the products mm -hmm. that they're using. The masking fragrances, um, it's when it, when things are hypoallergenic or non-comedogenic, it's usually a lot to do with the fact that there are not fragrances. Well, here you go. This is all sulfate free, no tears in the cleanser, so I clean my face really, really good. And then, this is a little hint, I don't sell this, but I'm sharing all my hints tonight. Manuka honey. Have Love you heard it. the Manuka honey craze? Um, it's a little bit more expensive than regular honey. It's from New Zealand and it's got antibiotic uh, properties in it. Amazing. So not only can you eat it, but you could put it on your skin as a mask. You could use it as a spot um, you know, treatment, right. brightener. Um, my cleanser and moisturizer overall in the serum is going to brighten your skin. So you're going to have that no makeup makeup base, mm -hmm. which is going to be amazing. But this is a little hint that I use. Once a week, I'll do a mask with the Manuka honey and then I eat it. Not off my face, but I eat it. <laughs> um, so after that's washed off again, Globadina won't irritate using it twice because again, sulfate free, um, fragrance paraben free, free yeah. fragrance free, everything free, except for the amazing um, vitamins and antioxidants in it, which is so good. Followed up by my moisturizer, Glow Moisture. So we have an uh, oil free version for those who tend to be a little bit more oily. Um, what I love about this line is my mom uses it and Lexi uses it. 20 years old, I won't tell my mom's age, but she's older. Um, so Lexi uses the oil-free version. My mom uses moisturizer, which you can use all over your body. Actually, we went on a photo shoot today and Laura, you mixed it with my bronzer, yes, right? Yes, I did. I, For it my was body. fabulous to, you know, to so. just keep it all smooth and hydrated and it looked very dewy and glamorous. So this is for face and body. Awesome. Um, then I followed up with my serum, which is amazing. It has little, little beads of vitamin C, so they burst on your face, and it's not the dangerous beads that's in the toothbrush that's killing everybody in the environment. It's the good beads. So you'll smell this like vitamin C yummy smell, and it's so good for your skin. So one of the questions that I got today from you guys was um, concealer, under eye concealer. Like, I have nothing on today. I'm a little bit red from the Manuka Honey gives you like a tingly kind of feeling. It will make you a little red, which is youthful. But if you're going to be using makeup, you can, Laura's going to show us how to cover that up. Um, but also for concealer, every day my eye care is a, eye glow is a gel. So if you want to make it last longer, this is a, I wish I can reference your name right now, but I have too many comments. You asked how to make your concealer look creamy and kind of not crunch up and crease. Um, start with a gel like this that'll depuff right. and tighten but then use the cream over it, an eye cream. Right, and, and sometimes I even put a little bit of the eye cream, the more emollient kind of eye cream, in with the actual concealer. There you go. It just blends in, you just, but you have to really blend it out to, so it's very sheer. Yeah, so this works great every day. I use it obviously before I go to bed, but in the morning as well, my eye glow. Um, and then if I'm doing a photo shoot or I need something to last long, I'll put a little cream, um, eye cream on top and my favorite expensive 
as hell. But it lasts forever. Worth every penny. Mm -hmm. This is not an endorsement. I just love this shit. I, I, Sorry. I, pulled, I already stole your... Okay. Oh, you took it out. It out. <laughs> Play de Poe um, is a miracle worker for under eye circles. Um, I have to say my eye gel has been making a big difference in my circles and puffiness. I mean, this is the end of the day. We're literally <laughs> sipping while we're doing this. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. um, but when I'm, you know, puffy puffy, this helps so much. Then I put a little cream over it if I'm doing a heavy photo shoot. If not, just a little bit of this over the gel. Miracle worker, clay de Poe. Do not pay me. Love it. All right. So that's my hint for under eye cream. Yes. What what um, brand do you use? I I also love clay de Poe, mm -hmm. but I also I use um, a cream base uh, that's called Cinema Secrets, and you can get it in these little packs that are like this. Or in the little. That's a lot of work. Yeah, you know, just get the clay. The, I, okay, I say so let's clay do it. Up. So the next step. Now I have my concealer under my eyes. I'm looking a little bit more awake. The wine is disappearing. Um, another little secret that I do is just put like a lip plumper on while I'm putting my makeup on, just to get things kind of plumpy. I have naturally full lips. Um, so this can get obnoxious sometimes, but I just like by the time I'm done with my makeup It wears down a little bit and it's kind of exactly where I want it to be. This is lip benefits. I also use lip fusion um, I, I use those and buxom buxom we like buxom yeah. too. So we're sharing all our secrets today So I'll, I put this on right after you know, so that's on me now I didn't want to skip that so now we're gonna do the full no makeup makeup and we're gonna start with one of my favorite foundations um, ever 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 it's, and you know, I airbrush, I airbrush you too, mm -hmm. but I have to tell you this competes with the airbrush. Yeah. So every day I'll tell you what I use, um, for everyday makeup, I don't wear any, to be honest with you. I swear this is, a, I'm 44 years old. I'm telling you, I don't wear makeup every day. I wear a little bit of concealer, maybe a little bit of BB cream if I'm going out where I need to like, but every day exercising, food shopping, running errands, I don't wear anything. But when I would go out for dinner at night, this is my go-to makeup forever covers everything and really sheer mm -hmm. it gives you it gives you full out coverage you can build on it you can make it heavy I use it for you know the most the farthest stage when you're doing speaking engagements or for the close-ups it's yeah. it works for everything and when I have to do my own makeup when Laura's not around or Priscilla's not around I use this myself because I used to be a makeup artist this is how I all started yeah. I, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I was doing makeup. So I know a little little thing about makeup and how to, so here we go, no makeup, makeup. So we are done now with our Makeup Forever um, foundation, mm -hmm. our Clay de Beau concealer, and of course, Glow by Dina was our base. Right. Now this is my little special trick. It's our little sunbeam from Benefits. Okay. And sometimes I even put this into the foundation a little bit. Oh, there's a trick. Mm -hmm. So this is for a uh, natural a little, glow. A natural glow, just where the sun would kiss you, where the highlight would be. Just I even put a little bit down the end of the nose. And so that keeps you from having that over made up look. And even a little bit right here mm -hmm. in the Cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to lightly blend this into the foundation. So this is considered a highlighter? A highlighter. Okay. But it's a gold base. It doesn't have, it's an illuminator, mm -hmm. so it's not glittery but it has a little bit of shimmer in it and it's liquid so it will blend with your with your moisturizer with your concealer with your lipstick you can put it in anything what i like about this is um for you youngins out there you could use powder highlights all you want but as you get older i'm noticing that the powder highlights kind of will settle into some wrinkles that we have mm -hmm. so what i like is that this is liquid so it kind of just gives exactly. that highlight. Another one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. This, this is, is actually your discovery. Well, actually, this is Lexi's discovery. She turned me on to this. This is by Smashbox, and they are called um, 
Oh, this is called Beverly Hills Blush. Would you look at that? Mm -hmm. These are called LA, LA Lights. Um, and this, they come in all colors and they have a little sponge on the end. But these are just shimmery. I love it. And little the, old school kind of blush. Exactly. Um, so, so you could do the cheek. Just a little bit in the cheek. It's a little, just like a little cream blush, but it's very sheer. It's mm -hmm. very sheer. Now let me. And then I take the foundation brush with a little, still a little bit of the foundation on it and just blend it out. So it's very sheer. So you're, you're layering the products without adding more product. That's important because you don't want to look cakey during the day. Okay. Or even at night. It's so nice to look dewy and fresh at all times. And then it comes in a natural little highlighter, mm -hmm. which I'll be honest, when I wear no makeup at all, sometimes I'll just put a little bit of this on my cheeks and a little bit underneath my brow. Exactly. So just running that along the top of the cheekbone, like that. And again, see, you're getting a shimmer, but even you can see that before I even start blending it out, you're getting a little bit of a shimmer, not glitter. We don't want to look like a disco ball. Yeah, we have nothing against strippers, mm. but <laughs> keep that at the club. Right. And again, I'm taking the foundation brush and just gently blending that in. There's not more foundation on this. This is just the foundation. The same left one. Over. So it's got a little residue on there. Perfect. Now, as you can see, I have my eyelash extensions, which we did a whole nother video. You can look that up with my girl, Lindsay. Um, for me, it just works. I get up, my lashes are on, they're done. I'm so easy on my lashes because I don't wear eye makeup every day. So they last like six weeks. I don't have to get a fill for like six weeks. Um, so this is part of just the natural, glowy, simple. You don't have to get them as dark as I do, but because I do wear television makeup a lot, I like them darker. Um, okay, so we have our sunbeam. We had a little bit of our Smashbox. What is the next? The next step we're going to, this is the sculpting the face. So this is the no contour contour that yes. goes on with the no makeup makeup. So I don't know about you guys, but this heavy contour, and again, I love my drag queens. I love you guys. But when they're performing, that's when I want to see this contour or whatever. Out in the streets, you got to soften up a little bit, right? I, I mean, agree. I agree. It's my thing is, like, how do they make out? Like if you go on a date and you're all contoured up and everything, there's layers of everything and you're really baked and blah, blah, blah. everywhere. How do you make out for well, real? Exactly. Well, and it, I don't know how. And you the can products do they're using are so heavy mm -hmm. that I, they can't even like tap themselves without removing exactly. some of it. You're, you're going to get streaky. So you're on a first date. The guy's across the table and he's like, "Wow, she's got amazing cheekbones. Wow, look at her chiseled nose." And then you start to make out, and get messy, and all of a sudden he's, he's like, "Wearing Damn. your amazing cheekbones." It's like a push-up bra on your face. <laughs> So this is the way to contour without having that look. Very subtle, natural. It will give you the cheekbone. It will give you the right. nose. I'm saving thousands on a nose job because of this stick. <laughs> okay. So tell us about. All right. It. So um, this, you know, full disclosure is my first product in my line called Doll Cosmetics, and it's um, it comes in light, medium, and deep. We're going to use medium. So uh, sometimes I've used deep on you. The more some tan that you have, sometimes we've done that, or to give it. That's a little bit more. But it's a dual sided pencil that has a light and a dark side. Love it. So, and they are skin toned. So it's like, it's not gray, there's nothing dark brown. Nothing it's, artificial. It, exactly. So, literally, you're just going to draw in where you want the shadow and where you want to sculpt the face. So, you're seeing this is Dina's, the apple of her cheek, the height of her. her uh, brown of her cheekbone so what we're doing is we're just creating where there would be a shadow but it's a color I'm gonna turn your face to the side a little bit it's a color found in nature this is not gray it's a skin tone Love right. it. and the it's, texture is so nice it's soft it still gives you the dewy look you don't look caked in right it, it's a, it's a sheer to medium coverage excuse me and where me. else can you use a stick Laura you can use it all over your face. You can use it as an eye shadow, an eyeliner. I've had girls use it as an eyebrow pencil. Underneath your brow under, bone under is a great brow. spot mm -hmm. for a little highlight. Like you can use it, yeah, you know, as eyeshadow in the crease if you wanted to. Why don't you go ahead and do that look? I'll do okay. Why don't we? I've even and with the the darker of the two sides, um, you can use you know even as a lipstick or a little bit of a lip color on the lip with a clear gloss. The, sort of the idea behind the the pencil was to be able to, um, you know, have a mascara, a clear lip gloss, and you can do your whole face.
So we are complete now and look at this. This is one pencil with our base ingredients. So basically all you need in life is Globidina and Doll Concealer Pencil. So you can get Globidina, Globidina.com. Where can we get Doll? Dollcosmetics.com. Hear that? Dollcosmetics.com. Basically this and some water and you can live for the rest of your life. There you go. All right, join us next time. I love these little videos. We'll finish our wine now and we'll make a lot more for you. Keep the questions coming because I can't wait to answer them for you.